In Fallout New Vegas, there are three unkillable robots. Festus, the Vendatron and Gunrunners, and Yes Man. Now I know what you're thinking, Yes Man, I've killed them multiple times, but Yes Man always respawns back. There is a way to permanently kill him though, and I'll show you in a second. But as a kid, when this game first came out, I got on the PS3. And me being myself, I've always done kill everything runs. So as a kid, it really bugged me that I couldn't kill Festus, the Vendatron, as well as permanently kill Yes Man. Having the game on PC, my curiosity got the best of me and I wanted to see if I could kill all three of them. So that's exactly what I did in this video. I killed all three of them and I'm going to show you how I did it. So for one, Yes Man is the easiest one to do. I wish I knew this as a kid because I could have done it as a kid. But that still wouldn't have changed the fact that I couldn't kill Festus or the Vendatron from Gunrunners. But to permanently kill Yes Man, all you got to do is shooting with uh, energy weapon. So Alien Blaster, Plasma Rifle. You pretty much have to turn Yes Man into a pile of ash or goo and then he won't respawn. So if you kill Yes Man regularly with a regular bullet or melee and his body's there shown, he will respawn. But if it's a Nash pile or a goo pile, Yes Man will not respawn. So I went to the 13th floor on the tops and I shot Yes Man with an Alien Blaster, turned him into Pile of Ash, and that is Yes Man eliminated for good. So bye bye Yes Man. Oh, and for the record, I do have a mod on no essential NPCs, but that also still didn't really help me with the Vendortron, and you will see why soon enough. Once Yes Man is dead and not able to respawn anymore, you can actually finish the whole quest as normal. You can finish the whole story as normal. Yes Man permanently dying doesn't affect the story at all whatsoever. So you can either kill him and have him respawn or permanently kill him by turning him into an ash pile and just leave him like that. Next up, we have Festus from the Sunset Sarsaparilla HQ. Festus is only part of the Legend of the Star quest. He has no other use besides that quest. You cannot shoot him. You can hit him. If you melee him, he does react, and then he goes back to his idle stance. And he will do this with any melee hit, whether it being a weapon or your fist. He will just pop it, pop his head up real quick, and then lay back down. Almost as if, like, he has life to him. It's kind of creepy, actually. You can't shoot him. Any, any shots or any explosive go right through him as if, like, it doesn't affect him. You cannot vats him either. So even if I want to, like, get a critical or something like that, pressing the vats button doesn't do anything to Festus. The only way I was able to kill Festus was when I used the command kill all. Just by clicking on him and typing kill it didn't do anything. Typing kill all did kill him. Warning, You'll know it worked on Festus if all of a sudden you can walk through him. And also he doesn't react to your punches anymore. You also don't get the prompt to talk to Festus anymore. That's how you know you've successfully killed him. It doesn't give you any XP for it either. You can just walk through him and that's how you know you killed him. If you also spawn in a Festus, the same thing happens. You can only punch him as well as using kill all to kill him. But other than that, that's the only way to kill Festus is by using kill all. Now I'm not sure if the mod no essential NPCs is the reason why I can kill Festus when I use kill all, but this was the only way I could kill Festus. Once Festus is dead, the Legend of the Star quest is rendered broken and you cannot complete it. Everything else can be completed though. With the Vendor Tron from Gunrunners, this one really bugged me as a kid because with Yes Man, at least in the PS3 version, I can kill him. E even though he responds, whatever, I can still kill him. With Festus, I had no idea Festus was even an NPC, so it didn't really bother me that I couldn't kill him. But with the Vendor Tron, just seeing this live robot behind this bulletproof glass that I could not do anything about, no matter how many nukes I shot at it or mines or grenades, whatever I did, I could not kill this robot behind this glass. And it really bugged me. But with the PC version, I'm able to do kill all. But all of a sudden it says the Vendortron went unconscious. That's weird. I have a mod called No Essential NPCs. This Vendortron should die. Well, it turns out that mod doesn't affect the Vendortron. Now, even though I can no clip myself into the area where the Vendortron is, as you can see, I cannot vat it or shoot it. All my bullets go right through the Vendortron. The only way I was able to kill the Vendortron is when you literally remove his essential tag using the console. That is the only way the Vendortron will die. And then when the Vendortron's essential tag is removed, you can then use kill all and it will kill it rather than knock it unconscious. And that was the only way I can kill the Vendatron. And obviously the only way you can kill Festus and or the Vendatron is only through PC. Any other, any other version of the game, you cannot do this. So this video was more personally for my younger self. I really wanted to kill these robots as a kid and now I can finally do it and see it for myself and see them dead. So younger Steven, you're welcome. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. That's all three unkillable robots killed in Fallout New Vegas. Fellow Steven out, stay proper. Peace.